And if Foggy gets another chance, he could tie a league record with another touchdown pass. Well, there's a minute and 23 seconds left. That's plenty of time the way things go around here. However, I guess you might wonder what happens in a test, and they might get a couple of them coming up against Winnipeg. When it matters more than it does in games like this. Here's Clemens trying to set up the Argos to be in scoring range again, and he's got him to midfield with 101 to go. And here comes Ricky Foggy trying for a touchdown pass that would tie a league record held by the general manager of the team he's playing against, Joe Zuger, who is on with us at halftime, and we mentioned then that Foggy was halfway to that record. Joe Zuger has a Hamilton Tiger Cat through eight touchdown passes. The year was 1962, and it was against the Saskatchewan Rough Riders October the 15th when Zuger threw his eight touchdown passes. The players and coaches on the bench will tell you after the game, usually anyway, that they have no idea of records and they don't have a record book and they, if they do, they don't read it down there. <laughs> so we don't know whether uh, Ricky Foggy is aware of what he might be able to do. All well, the guess is that he probably isn't. But the Argos are going to keep giving him the chance. 36 seconds to go, and there is the Hamilton GM on the left. Pensive. Knowing the game is lost. Wondering if his own record will be tied. His own record that stood for, well, almost 30 years. Argos first down, 37 yards away, with the clock moving, and it does appear that the Argos don't want to try for that record tying touchdown pass. Don Matthews is going to close it up. I think a coach in any situation like this is afraid of being accused of running up the score, and I think that's why we're seeing what we're seeing. Yet there will be criticism, I'll tell you right now, in the Toronto media of this particular decision. 60 points the Argos have, and there's still people who think that Foggy's chance for the record should have been uppermost in Don Matthews' mind, and Matthews is going to tell you he didn't know what the record was in the first place. So you can debate that one as you digest the game. Another scoring derby at the Sky Dome in Toronto. Dave Beckman leaves the loser, and Don Matthews wins again by a mile. The Argos in September, what a month. 68 points against BC, 70 against Calgary, now 60 against the Hamilton Ticats. The Argos have won five in a row, and the Molson MVP of this game, who else but the quarterback, Ricky Foggy, with seven touchdown passes and more than 100 yards rushing. One of the great games ever by a quarterback in this league. Ricky, the question coming into this one was, how would you handle the assignment when it was all yours? How would you do as a starter? This is some answer. Well, um... Uh during the week, I just had to prepare myself as normally. Um, just go in and um, do the things that I always do. Watch film and uh, get assistance from Matt and John and um, Coach Adam Rita. And we just stuck to the game plan. And I think the, this week, only thing that's changed um, anything about playing was that they gave me the uh, feeling that I was going to get to play and I was going to be the starter. And uh, that was about the only difference I had. In case you don't know, you tied a club record with seven touchdown passes, an eighth would have tied a league record. Had you known, might you have wanted to throw it in there in the last few seconds? No, I don't think so. I think uh, this team that I'm on now is a respectable team. And, you know, we're not out there to run the score up on anybody. And, you know, in the last couple of weeks, it seemed like it. But we just go out there and prepare to win and um, to put points on the board. Uh, even if I knew if I would have had one more touchdown to go, and if I was on the two-yard line, I, I still don't think I would have threw the ball. Have you ever had uh, as much fun playing football as you seem to be having here? Hey, it's really a big change uh, for me, you know, starting out in B.C. Um, at the beginning of the season and uh, coming here like I did. It's a big change of atmosphere and the guys that I'm playing with now, 
It's, this gave me a, a revived feeling that I can play, and they showed confidence in me while I'm out there, and I just have to go out there and get the job done and be productive. Give us the biggest, widest smile you can manage, and right now, there aren't <laughs> many better than that. Congratulations, what a night for you. All right, thanks a lot. Ricky Foggy of the Argos, and there are their numbers. Many of them are also his numbers as Ricky Foggy dazzles the Ticats and the Skydome crowd here tonight.